Oh, and uh, more bad news. Billy, we were nearly rumbled this morning. Who by? <sighs> oh, come on. Little tease. Well, you know that text you sent me? My mum saw me reading it. She knows it was me. Well, I'm guessing she didn't think it was the phone company offering me three minutes. Let me guess. It was the way you swooned as you're ready. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you feel about going off for the day on Friday? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Anywhere in particular? Um. Have you ever been to Formby? Great Beach. All right. So, is that a plan? Yeah, it's good for me. Right. Says it costs me loads to keep kids entertained. You're still showing off about your blow football triumph. A couple of bendy straws, sweet paper rolled up as a football. Hey, uh, that's now, lad. I tell you what, in my day, you could uh, have a fortnight in Blackpool, fish supper every night, and still have change from a shilling. <laughs> Todd, shall I put the uh, flowers in the kitchen, Vicar? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Sorry, I'm Todd. Florist and parishioner. John, the bishop. Nice to meet you. Now, uh, I brought these for the church, and uh, I brought this for the tombola. Unless you can always open it if you've got guests. I can always get another for the raffle. Oh, no, no, I'm... Oh, that's very kind, bless you. Mm. Now, uh, I'd love to join you, as long as you're not talking business. You see, I'd love the chance to give this one a glowing review. Oh, oh like a uh, trip advisor for Vickers, huh? <laughs> I'll get the course crew. <laughs> Just wish I'd been here for the bath bit. What's wrong? What's up? I like you, Todd. A lot. Mm -hmm. But I need to take things slow. You know, Sean doesn't have to know. No, it's not about Sean. It's me. It's just the way I am, even before the dog collar. <sighs> no problem. No. No, I can wait. Actually, it might be quite exciting. Mm. Well, I think so. Or it might just drive me crazy. Just passing, Vicar. Mm. Just happened to be hanging outside, florist. Mm. You just had a delivery of exotic flowers. May I tempt you inside to see my bird of paradise? <gasps> seen her today. I was going to go on my break. You want to come? I've got a uh, church council meeting. Yeah, it's as scintillating as it sounds, mm. but I'll tell her I'll, I'll drop him after it's finished. Hopefully explain about Lee, maybe undo some of the damage he's done. Yeah, all right. But no more blaming yourself, yeah? Huh? Yeah? No more self-hating, Vicar. Thank you. I do understand, you know, what all this Tony stuff must be doing to you. I'm, I'm just really gutted you got dragged into it all. I wish you'd thought of all that before you did it. <laughs> Billy, I, I panicked, didn't I? No, we're, we're covering up a murder. <sighs> You're a really good mate, all right? The last thing I want is you hating me. I don't hate you. So, um, when's Tracy back? Uh, she's at home, but she won't be up to full strength for a bit, so... See? Deep down, you do care. Care? What? About Tracy? Yeah, I think you do, a bit. He said I'd make a good florist, but maybe you'd be good in one of the more caring professions underneath that blasé exterior. Just give me the biscuits, <laughs> in you? <laughs> well, maybe we've got more in common than we thought. You must know it was me that finished with him. Right, OK. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I know all this must have put a strain on your relationship. It wasn't that. 
You didn't help, mind. Piling more lies on top of the biggest one of all. Right, what's that? I've fallen for someone else. Uh, I am totally knackered. That was the most tedious few hours of my life. Mm, if I found out who stuck Chuddy on that poster. Mm, your kids are nasty, but uh, I'm sure I was pretty cute at that age. Well, certainly cute now. Not so bad yourself. Listen, his mum's waiting, all his mates. If you don't get out there, you're gonna have a riot on your hands. So you, just, you, you just need to focus, right? Focus. <laughs> I just I can't go through it with it. Billy, look at me. I know all this is close to home. I know this. All right? But what you need to do, you need to take a deep breath. Yeah, get yourself out there. For Callum's a moment for no one else. Billy, you, you are the strongest person I know. I really mean that. Everything's going to be OK. Because I, I find it, I find it difficult to talk about how I feel. I mean, you, you know, people think I'm cocky, but I'm not. Well, thanks for the apology. I still think you and Sean are doomed, though. I do. I, you don't love him anymore, do you? It's obvious. The longer you carry on, the more you're going to hurt him. Is that right? I just can't stand by and watch you wreck each other's lives. OK, all right, all right. Um, you were right. It is about me and you. I know I pushed you away, but that's because it felt too weird. And you know I, I don't want to hurt Sean. But this, it's not going away. And I don't want it to.